Hey guys, welcome to Tyson's Fitness Tips Podcast. If you want to lose weight, increase your energy, improve your health and fitness, and look your best, then you have come to the right place. My name is Tyson Brown. I'm a personal trainer, and my job is to help you transform your body by sharing with you the most up-to-date information on health and fitness. I'm going to distill it all down for you into bite-sized, actionable steps that you can take immediately to see results quickly. Now, every Tuesday and Thursday, you can expect a brand new episode, which will be a mixture of interviews with top experts from around the world in the fitness space, and as well as solo episodes from myself, sharing with you exactly what action steps you need to take to transform your health, your body, and your life. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of energy. So, let's get into the show. why you should be exercising in the morning. What is going on guys, it is Tyson Brown, your transformation coach. And today I wanna talk to you guys about why it's so important to be exercising in the morning to help with your fitness habits. Now, I've been recently reading a book lately called, uh, oh, sorry. Now, I've been recently reading a book lately called Better Than Before, and it's all about how you shape your habits. And what they've discovered is that people who start exercising early in the morning have a more greater success chance of sticking to it because that's when your willpower is so strong. When you're awake in the morning, you're feeling fresh, you don't have anything that's distracting you, you don't have things to get in your way, and that's going to be the most optimal time for you to be able to get it in because if you put it off later on, what people find out is that's when excuses comes up, that's when work drains you, that's when you get tired, and that's when you can easily put it off. So instead of doing that, what they found is people who start any habit in the morning, whether it be a fitness habit, whether it be doing something new, you're more likely to stick to it when you start it early okay. in the morning. So you need to think about what are the healthy things you need to be implementing into your life and how do you start it off. You might already have your in exercise. If you've already started exercise and you're consistent with it, then you don't need to change it up. For me, it's not, a, it's not something I need to improve on. So that's why exercising first thing in the morning for me it isn't, it's, it's, it's nothing I have to focus on at the moment because I know that I love to exercise every day. But if you're someone who struggles with your exercise, then that would be the first tip that I actually recommend you try and do. Once you wake up, have everything, go to sleep in your gym clothes if you have to. Just be able to prepare yourself for that morning so you can get up and you can rock it straight to the gym. And that way you've got no other reasons for excuses. You've got nothing else that's come up. And the benefits of exercise in the morning has been shown that it actually helps you sleep better, it helps you have more energy during the day, and it improves your focus. So that's the most optimal thing for you to do. If you really want to start seeing results, you should start exercising in the morning if you haven't already got that habit into place. Now, let's say you do have exercise habit in place. What else can you focus on? Well, what about having healthier lunches during the day or healthier dinners? If you're someone who doesn't have time to cook or if you're someone who just, you know, once you get home, you feel lazy, so you just eat something crap, instead, spend that morning time waking up when you have willpower to prepare your meals ahead of time, to cook up whatever's got to be made, to make that healthy breakfast, whatever you've got to do, do it in the morning so those excuses don't come up and your willpower is still high. So you can say, okay, you know what? The last couple of weeks I've been really slipping up on my dinner. I need to start changing it up. So every morning I'm going to wake up and I'm going to lay out what I need for dinner. I'm going to have my meat there defrosting. I'm going to have my vegetables all cut up. I'm going to do everything I need to do so as soon as I get home, and I'm feeling tired, I can just chuck it straight into the like, chuck it straight into the pan or however you're going to cook it, and it's there, it's done. It doesn't require a lot of willpower. You don't have your excuses coming up, and there's nothing that can really go wrong because the biggest thing is we all have good intentions. We all think that tomorrow, like Tyson, tomorrow's Tyson, is going to be so much better than today's Tyson. He's going to be disciplined. He's going to be more committed. He's going to be more focused. But things come up. Life happens, and then you realize that, Oh, okay, so that actually didn't work out as well as it did. Well, tomorrow is going to be a different day, and we keep putting it on our future self. But the problem with that is it doesn't happen like that. Every day, new strategy, new things are going to come up, new challenges are going to happen in your life. So what you need to think about is instead of going, okay, I'm going to put it off for tomorrow, you need to think about what habit do I want to implement? How am I going to start early in the morning? What is going to be the best thing? Is it going to be fitness? Is it going to be eating healthier? 
Is he going to be waking up a little bit earlier to do some reading or something, you know, learning a little bit more about fitness? Because once you put these habits into track, it's going to be so much easier. Now, I know I've just told you that exercise in the morning is going to be more beneficial for you because you're going to be able to stick to it longer. So let's ha- let's think about how you can put that into play. The first thing I would suggest is if you can't actually make it to the gym in the morning, do body weight exercises at home to get the habit ingrained first. Always start with a small step. If it's too hard for you to go and drive down to the gym or it doesn't open early in the morning, well, then what you've got to do is be able to do something to start that habit. So you can do something as simple as body weight squats, body weight push-ups, sit-ups, uh, lunges, anything you can think of that's going to help you ingrain that habit. It doesn't mean you have to go to the gym to start the fitness habit. Like I said, if you do those body weight things at home until you maybe find a gym that's going to be open at that time where you find you know, like another way of doing it, that is going to be way more beneficial for you. So think about what's the easiest thing you can implement. Taking small steps first has also been proven. That's going to be the most easiest thing for you to implement. Because when we try and make huge changes at a time, most people, most people, including myself, don't stick with it. But when you add just a little bit of a habit in place, it's so much easier. So let's say for the first two weeks, all you do is you focus on doing push-ups. You do 10 push-ups every morning. Then for the next week, you add in 10 push-ups and 10 squats. Then the week after that, sorry, I'm just letting this truck go by. Man, this road is busy here down in Newtown. Uh, So then you could add, like I said, you'd add push-ups, then you do squats, then you do sit-ups. Every week, you're implementing just a little bit longer. You go for two minutes, now you're up to five minutes. And before you know it, you're doing half an hour of bodyweight exercise in the morning, and it's now a habit. So if you really want to take control of your health and fitness, like I say, start it early in the morning, get it knocked out of the way before any other distractions, before you have those excuses coming into your head, before your willpower gets depleted, and before you're lacking energy from the rest of the day. That is your Tyson's Fitness Tips. I will speak to you next time. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. I really appreciate it. Now, I've got a special gift for you. If you want to learn how I managed to lose 10 kilos and keep it off, then I've got the perfect treat for you. I've got a free intermittent fasting cheat sheet that I share on my website that shows you exactly how to diet effortlessly with intermittent fasting and fit it into your busy lifestyle. And more importantly, this is the exact guide that I follow every single day that allowed me to lose 10 kilos of body fat and keep it off four years later. So head on over to www.tysonbrown.com.au and pick up your free cheat sheet today and learn how to fit intermittent fasting into your life and diet effortlessly. Once again, that's www.tysonbrown.com.au. Opt in for the free cheat sheet and I'm going to send it straight to your inbox for free. Until next time, speak to you guys then.